Over the years, I have been really fortunate to have found some pretty crazy items in thrift stores that I can then go on to sell for a profit on eBay. I think back to the time that I found the Jordan 4s. I'm just so damn happy about this. Have a look at these things. And then there was that Ice Road Truckers DVD set. Mwah. Guys, this is the best $19 purchase I have ever made. It was also the time that I found the Charizard Pokemon card in a pawn shop. A graded PSA 9 2000 Dark Charizard Hollow. Well, actually, yeah, no, that was probably a bad buy. But the point that I'm trying to raise here is that there has been some pretty crazy things over the journey. But what took place today was by far and away the number one item that I have ever found in a thrift. I was so excited. This took place just 30 minutes ago. I had to turn the camera on and show you guys. Let's get into it. This one's a pretty crazy one. Our day starts in the hat section and I was really stoked to actually come away with a couple of really quick winners here. The first one was an NRL hat, the St. George Illawarra Dragons. I reckon I can get about 30 bucks for it and I'm paying just a dollar. This New Zealand Warriors hat was another perfect example. An athletic hat um, should go again for another 30. So that was a really good start. Now the shoe section, I found these, the Hyperfuse, the Nike Zoom Hyperfuse. Just a really good pair of shoes. Uh, going for about 70 to 80 dollars but there was some significant damage and some significant peel there with the gluing, so I had to leave them behind. The Asics Gel Keanu 26s for 24 bucks was just a little bit steep. I actually almost went ahead with these Prestos for $45. They're worth about 90 bucks, so there was definitely some money in them, even though it was outlandishly priced at 45, but this was the real winner in the shoe section. I found the brand Allbirds, and if you guys haven't heard about it, it's an instant winner. I should be able to go and make about 80 bucks. I'm happy to pick it up for what was just 25. Some DVDs guys, I found the staircase that was going for about 22 pre-owned and I also found a George Harrison DVD that was selling for about 16, so $40 worth of value but then I also found some sports cards. Well, I'd be just able to have a look at the two, um, just that football card case and that one as well. Negotiable, okay. Negotiable's always good. Yeah. Thank you. And this green one. Yeah, and that green one as well. Thank you very much. Just have a bit of a look through that first. Yeah, sure. You do. Thank you. Now, I don't do sports cards too often. I find them too fiddly and you generally don't make too much money, but I was intrigued to see them in a thrift store. And unfortunately, after doing a bit of scanning, I noticed a lot of holes in the collection here. It was then to try and look for the shiny cards. And even these ones here that I found, they were only worth about 10 to $15. So I actually ended up passing on them. Still a pretty cool thing to see. Some shoes. Um, these were the GT 1000s. They were in excellent condition. Um, not too bad of a price either. I probably could have flipped them into about 60 bucks, but I did end up leaving them behind. Uh, I do have a number of them that haven't yet sold, so until they do. Um, these ones here as well, some Shimano. Um, these are some women's cycling shoes for just 10 bucks that actually weren't too bad, but I left them behind as well. Well guys, the moment we have all been waiting for, the reveal of my greatest thrift find ever. I'm still absolutely blown away by this find. This was live footage of me just scanning through the racks in the clothing department. I don't actually do clothing so much anymore. It's more just the sporting merchandise that I focus on. Uh, and this was the real winner right here. I've been able to find a Western Bulldogs AFL player edition jersey, the correct sponsorships by all means on this thing. This is completely genuine and very, very rare. I'm going to touch on it a little bit later in this video just to how rare this one actually is. Uh, and this one here as well, the, the indigenous jersey on the back. This is the AFL. So if you're from out of Australia, this is our national football league. It's kind of like the NFL over in uh, America. But um, these are absolutely genuine. The GPS pouch there kind of gives it away. And you wouldn't believe it, guys, but I've paid just $6 a piece here. Number 36 on the back, I'm going to have to do some research because if this player is actually of significance and he's had a good career, this is actually only going to elevate the jersey's value over time. So that was really cool to see. It also had a sublimated number on the back. Uh, and then this one as well was a pretty crazy jersey. This was the Thor-inspired jersey. I'll touch on the meaning behind the Thor-inspired jersey a little bit later as well. And uh, the second one was the Indigenous. They only play in that once a year um, and I've been able to find it right there, which was absolutely 
crazy to see them on the Gold Coast. You just don't get that sort of stuff over here. So guys, just a couple of really special finds and really significant for me as well. I've, I've spent 10 years in the AFL industry working for three different footy clubs. So I knew, I knew the minute I saw this sort of thing exactly what it was actually worth and, and to actually to have found it on the Gold Coast, we're a typically rugby league dominant town. So to have any AFL gear, especially of this significance and, and a Victorian based football team is just really strange. It is really a one in a million sort of a grab this. Um, this is the this is the this is the craziest jersey of them all. Um, so this strip here, the boys only ever played one game in the history of their football club in this jersey. It's a Thor inspired jersey because Chris Hemsworth, the famous actor, um, he loves the Western Bulldogs, and obviously with Marvel being uh, the stadium that they play at in Melbourne, they did a collaboration between the club and Marvel and Chris Hemsworth, and they came up with this Thor inspired jersey that the boys played in in round one to kick off the season when the sponsorship deal got put through uh, and Marvel Stadium um, and, and Thor was released and all of that, basically. So that's the significance of this jersey here. The fact that there was only ever one game played with this kit for the club in the history of the club's existence tells me that that is going to go for some significant money, even more so the fact that it is a player edition jersey. Uh, and this 2020 strip as well, this indigenous jersey that they play in once a year, this design is only ever created for one game as well. Um, so that one there is, is going to be worth at least 250 This jersey here, the captain signed it uh, in 2019 or 2020, whenever they played in it, uh, and it went for $960. Now, I'm not saying that this one here is going to go for $960. Uh, the player on the back is Brad Lynch. He's no longer playing uh, for the Western Bulldogs. No wonder I've got his jerseys. He was obviously pretty stinky at the fact that he got delisted. Uh, and he's now playing his local footy here on the Gold Coast, ironically for the team that I used to play for uh, as a kid growing up. So uh, he's playing his local footy now here on the coast. I found his jerseys. He's discarded them in a thrift store, and here I am getting my hands on them. Um, there's probably about $750 potentially worth of value in those two jerseys. So I'm thrilled. And like I said, I am just, I think that is why we do what we do. I think that's why we go out to the thrift stores and look for items. It is truly the treasure hunt. It is finding the things that just get you excited and give you that little bit of rush of energy uh, and make you want to go back out and do it again. So I, I, I can tell you right now, I can share this experience with you right now. I've been doing this for so long, you know, three, four, uh, three, four times a week, I'm out there looking for items and I've been doing it for two years over two years, and that is the coolest item I've ever found, just thrown away as a donation in a thrift store. So um, thanks for sharing it with me. Thanks for being a part of it. Um, I'll leave you with another thrift haul right here, which rounded out some pretty crazy finds as well. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button, and uh, I look forward to seeing you soon.